our next button or option as as we scroll in here is feedback control this is a fairly complex window with a lot of different decisions we give you availability to make it as simple or as complex as you choose um, starting at the the very basics or very simple as we zoom in to reward sound that's the default this is your simple beeps clicks bells dings your simple one tone type sounds we notice the definition that it is a dot wave file when all criteria is met so knowing that we're down training theta up training beta and down training high beta with this particular protocol when all three of those components are within criteria or meet range we're gonna hear a bell for instance okay turning reward sound off if we chose component we notice the definition slightly changes it's a dot wave file for each component so there'll be one sound for theta one sound for beta and one sound for high beta okay these sounds tend to be nature sounds there's tree frogs crickets and so forth as we come down to the next option here's where the complexity begins to come in as we choose MIDI we see the definition it's a note for each component but as we slide over to the right and up into the top we'll see that we have a couple choices for MIDI okay as we zoom in on the MIDI voice box we notice that we have a number here it's 41 well there actually happens to be 128 different sounds in this drop down menu we just happen to be on viola as I click the drop down arrow we notice a long list of different instruments okay a lot of these you're going to have to hear and choose and pick and experiment to find out personal preference of what you like so for now let's leave it on viola as I highlight it again you notice that the list disappears our next decision is the MIDI style now for instance we'll even make it a little simpler if I go back up to viola I'm gonna use the simple instruments here and I choose piano okay if you're looking at an instrument such as a piano and you're trying to define its style think of it as when you strike a key does it play and fade or does it continue to play for instance is piano a sustained instrument or percussive piano tends to be percussive a church organ for instance would be sustained as you press the key down the note continues to play until your finger comes off the key a piano when you press the key down it plays and then fades away so we we'll choose piano we choose percussive as we slide down we see we have a modulation decision to make as the client meets criteria do you want the note to be amplitude modulated so when they barely cross over it's fairly quiet and then the more amplitude above or below a threshold that's met the amplitude or volume of the sound will increase or decrease your second option is pitch pitch will allow that as they cross criteria it plays a low note and the farther they get away from criteria the higher the note okay as we then scroll slightly back over to the left we'll turn MIDI off our next option is coherent sounds now coherent sound is specific for coherence training but you'll notice the the definition is MIDI note for each component so it's similar to what MIDI was other than MIDI was for amplitude training coherence is for coherence training we still need to make the same decisions on instrument style and modulation our next step after those decisions are made with coherence is as we scroll slightly over we see coherence or face threshold 1 to 100 the number that's in the default happens to be 10 percent and this is in percentages so we can use that as a starting point because again it's adjustable from the training screen 
as we look slightly to the lower, it's training coherence or phase, the decision is up or down. Again, this is a single channel protocol, so I'm just giving you examples of what you would do for coherence. None of these decisions are relative for our single channel alert protocol, but I wanted you to be familiar with the options you have in the software. We also notice type of coherence that we have training similarity or we have assessment pure. And again, these are only relative to coherence. They're not relative to amplitude training. But as you get into coherence, you're going to want to make sure you make those decisions. As we go back up and uncheck coherence, we have phase, which again, definition is MIDI note for each component. We still make the decision on instrument style and modulation. We still have to decide if the phase threshold from 1 to 100 and whether we train coherence or phase up or down, but the type of coherence is no longer relative because we're just dealing with phase. Our next option is complex, which gives you a reward sound when all criteria is met, and it gives you a MIDI note for each component. So this kind of gives you combination type training. Okay. Our last option is events, use of event wizard to define. That's something that we'll get into later on that's a little on the more complex side, but it gives you the availability to choose a different instrument, instrument per component and to define different events, up to 16 different events, so you can really make your own little orchestra. We're going to go back up and simply check reward sounds. And then we're ready to exit out of this, but again, we always want to make sure that we use the OK button to save. Now we're back to setup options.